Good morning and welcome to Morning Matters. This morning we have found our way outside of the city. We figure since summer is coming, we're going to showcase some of the places and things that you can be doing over this summer holiday in a few uh, weeks, days, depending on what your uh, school schedule is. You will be out of school. Parents will be wanting to know what to do with you on the weekends. And so we thought we would start at Boca Wiener rainforest resort and adventure we have mr gongra who's the manager here with us this morning mr gongra good morning how are you good morning ronda i'm fine tell us a little bit about boca Wina. what does boca Wina have to offer okay first of all um uh, let me introduce myself my name is artemio gongra i am the manager of uh boca Wina rainforest resort and adventures boca Wina rainforest resort and adventures is a small eco-friendly bed, bed and breakfast resort located within the Mayflower Bocawina National Park. We are some five and a half miles on the Southern Highway and four miles off the feeder road. <clears throat> within the uh, resort we offer our main attractions are uh, the zip lining and the waterfall rappelling. Bocawina has been uh, in operation since uh, 2012 and those have been our highlights, the waterfall rappelling and the zip lining. You know, a lot of times when people think of resorts like these that are outside of town, they are kind of exclusive, they are absolutely amazing. They think, especially a lot of locals, they think they can't afford it. But I am sure that you are here to tell them that you have specials for locals, you have different packages for our Belizean, that, so that they too can come and explore places like these. Of course, we, we do offer uh, Belizean packages. Um, as a matter of fact, right now we have, uh, because we're in our low season, we offer um, uh, a Belizean package which comprises of um, the, the overnight stay in the regular rooms um, along with a complimentary breakfast and a, a zip line. Um, also, during our slow season, we offer 50% discount for Belizeans and uh, as a, an ongoing promotion, we have is um, zip lining for $50. 50 US dollars? 50 Belize dollars. So you can come here and zip line for 50 Belize dollars? Plus tax and then you can zip line uh, or nine lines at Boca Wina. Well, that's not bad at all. Fifty dollars to come and zip line. Any, almost anybody can afford that. So definitely, we encourage you to come down here. Yesterday, we um, had the pleasure of going on the antelope uh, adventure. Tell us a little bit about that. Okay, the antelope waterfall um, is actually one of the main highlights here. Uh, when visiting Bocawina, please, uh, you know, make it your your business to um, hike if you can, all the way to the Antelope Waterfall. At the Antelope Waterfall, you have a, a view all the way to the ocean. Um, and as well, you have a nice uh, emerald green um, pool and, uh, of which you can swim. If you have, you're buying the waterfall rappelling, um, our experienced and uh, well-trained guides will ensure that you rappel safely down the 250 feet waterfall. <laughs> you know, I have to say that the guides are amazing. Yeah, uh, when we went with them, I mean, they're patient, they're kind, they're knowledgeable. I, I think that I have guts, right? Yeah. But um, when I got up there, it was beautiful like you explained, but when it was time to rappel, my legs start to shake, you know, I'm like, they're like, no man, you can do this. And because they are so patient and kind and, and calming, it makes it easy for you to do it. They're, you don't feel like you're in a rush, even though there was uh, maybe five other persons on our trail with us. Um, and they took time with each one of us to make sure that we were comfortable when we were going down, we were safe. They explained all the ropes. So definitely I recommend that tour. Um, even if you, you have to have some level of fitness, but you don't have to be world-class fit. I mean, even Drew did it. <laughs> yeah, of course. Um, but yeah, if you uh, are going to do that waterfall hike, please, uh, you need uh, to be properly geared for that waterfall. Um, geared up, I mean, uh, you need proper hiking shoes. And of course, you need uh, proper um, clothing. And uh, the guys will do the rest. How long is the trail? How 
high above um, sea level are we when we get to that point? Okay, um, the trail is uh, like almost a, a mile and, and a half uh, all the way up and it is uh, the waterfall is actually like about 1,000 feet above sea level. And the yeah. hike is how long? Um, depending on your physical fitness, uh, it can take between uh, an hour and 30 minutes to an hour and 45 minutes. Excellent. So we must have done absolutely amazing when we went on it. I think we were there between an hour and 30 to an hour and 45. We didn't log behind too much, um, but definitely it is something to come and see. Um, when you make these packages, do you include meals or you don't include meals? Okay, um, if you're buying the Bokawina or the Antelope Waterfall package, that includes um, the rappelling itself, um, the lunch, and the zip lining. I tell you, if it is, if you've not done it, if you have somebody in your life that is a little bit adventurous, they don't have to be excessively adventurous, just marginally adventurous, they would love this. So it would make a great gift. We know Father's Day just went over the weekend. And if you didn't get anything for that father in your life yet, this might be an opportunity for you to do so. People's graduations are coming up, people's um, birthdays, anniversaries. This would be a perfect place to come and sit down and spend some quiet time with the special person in your life. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Um, how far is Bokawina from the city, more or less? How long a drive is it for people that may or may not know? From Belize City or the International Airport, you have a safe drive of three and a half hours all the way to Bokawina. Excellent. So we encourage people to come here, check out the tours, check out the place, check out the people, check out the food. Um, anything you'd like to leave us with? Okay, um, of course, um, Rhonda, um, <clears throat> with all said, we also uh, want the, the general public to know that we offer um, uh, some 12 rooms. We offer uh, cabanas, regular rooms, and the suites. Of course, we offer a great uh, restaurant and bar. Our chefs and our um, <clears throat> waiters and bartenders will be willing to... to um, to serve you the best drinks, the best meals that you can expect when visiting Bokawina. You know, I smile because when I, I guess it depends on the mind frame that you are in because when I come here, I came for the adventure. I came for yeah. to see and do and zip line and, 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 and track and all of that. But there might be some people like you rightly said just now that might just be out here for a good time to be quiet, to get away. So you can just come here, sit down, eat, be waited on, be pampered, and then you can leave. You don't have to go and do any of these great adventures. Or if it is a bunch of you, some of you might just want to stay in, relax in your room while the rest of them go off and check around. And when you come back, you find a nice place here. Do you guys offer camping? Of course, Rhonda. Um, we actually offer camping and we cater for uh, big groups. Um, uh, most of the time, we have been catering for uh, high schoolers and uh, and, and junior college and they would come and uh, pitch your tents and we would offer um, great outdoor act activities for them um, you know uh, it's such an experience for these young people that have never been you know away uh, in the jungle in a remote area um, away from everything um, and then just be in a jungle setting you know, um, during the night time, uh, we offer campfire for them. And in the morning, they go on their hikes, guided hikes, and all the trails that um, they can um, walk within their stay. Do they have to bring their own tents or do you provide the tents? Okay, um, we ask that they bring their tents. Yeah. Okay. And also, uh, Rhonda, um, uh, these high schoolers and uh, university students or, or junior colleges, they actually um, uh, come and at times the, they would go hiking. We have, uh, within the national park, we have a trail f that goes around for seven miles. Within the seven miles, we have some five waterfalls that they can actually visit, okay? Excellent. So you don't have, there's so many options when you come to Bocawina. You can come and stay just in the rooms. The rooms are nice and luxurious and clean and and just perfect uh, or you can camp or you can do camp and tour or you can do rooms and tour or you can just come for the day and explore and then you can leave there are lots of options we definitely encourage you for this summer or at any 
time in your life to visit Boca Wina, stop in, check out. And for the people that are in Belize, this is a great time to get to know your country and to get to know it in a way that otherwise you would not be able to. If you weren't living here, if you live here, you have to know here. Start at Boca Wina. Mr. Gongora, it's been fun. Thank you for stopping in. Thank you, Rhonda. All right. Of all the colors in the world, orange is perhaps the most exciting, distinctive, and vibrant color there is. Just like the Orange Gallery. But what makes the Orange Gallery outstanding is what's inside. A huge collection of breathtaking wood carvings and a spectacular display of home decor accessories and magnificent gift items. Browse a fabulous selection of furniture from chairs to entertainment centers. And wait till you see the Orange Gallery's breathtaking selection of jewelry for every occasion and every person, from casual to dressy bracelets and earrings to great items for men, including a spectacular choice of handmade knives. Then, when you've shopped till you're ready to drop, drop in to the Orange Gallery's fabulous restaurant and recharge for the rest of your Orange Expedition. The Orange Gallery, beautiful, unique, exquisite. Hola, hola, hola. Can I get a seven up for Pepsi Cola? Hey, Miss Laura, if you want to treat me, please don't give me no soft drink. We're ordinary. Please give me a Pepsi Cola, Pepsi Cola, Pepsi Cola. Hurrah, right. seven up, dig it up, dig it up. Seven up, dig it up, dig it up. Hola, hola, hola. Can I get a seven up for Pepsi Cola? Pepsi Cola. Si tu perro es de raza, raza grande o pequeña, dale un rambocán, rambocán. Si es delgado o robusto, pelo largo, pelo corto, dale un rambocán, rambocán, rambocán. En su presentación para adultos o cachorros, dale rambocán. Para que tu perro tenga piel sana y pelo brillante, huesos y dientes fuertes, músculos resistentes y mejor digestión, dale lo mejor, dale rambocán. Salud y vigor para tu perro. Have an idea for the building of a structure and not sure exactly what you want or how to go about achieving it? Then worry no more. Let the pros at Remen Associates get it done for you. At Remen Associates, we have trained professionals that can assist you in the designing, engineering and construction of the building of your choice. At Remen Associates, we bring your ideas to life. Call Roman Associates at 615-6200 or visit them at three quarter miles on the Iguana Creek Road in the Spanish Lookout. At West Track Belize City, we are looking to help you save both your time and money. We've also improved our stock levels to ensure we have everything you might need for your automotive or agricultural needs. Additionally, West Track has added heavy duty and industrial parts to keep your trucks and equipment running. At West Track Belize City, we understand that your time is important, so we want to bring our services to you at your convenience. Now you can simply send us a message on WhatsApp or Facebook and we will be right there to help with any questions you may have. Hello and welcome to ANR. With a wide variety of household items, party supplies and gift ideas to choose from, ANR is definitely the shopping spot of choice for you. We have loads of kitchen appliances such as freezers, washers, refrigerators, pots, pans, and other items including stationery, school bags, swimming pools, sturdy plastic chairs, and toys for boys and girls. Check out ANR at any of our many locations in San Pedro, Orange Walk, Cayo, and Belize City. At ANR, we strive to provide all your shopping needs under one roof. Back to Morning Matters right here from Boca Wina Rainforest Reserve and uh, Adventures. Drew has decided to show up now. I know that he is aching. He will act tough and everything, but his legs has to be killing him. 
Good morning, Drew. How are you? Why do you say my legs have to be killing me? You're 60 years old. You hike for almost two hours. You rappel. I think it's like three. It seems so in your <laughs> head. You rappelled for about 200 and something feet to the ground. Then you, you hiked back. You know, the rappelling was the easy part. You know, then you went zip lining, and then you still act like you could stand. You're hurting, aren't you? No, I'm, I'm fine. <laughs> no, seriously, though, you need to be in uh, just a little bit of shape. If I can do it, and I don't get any exercise, and I made it, but had somebody told me how grueling it was, I may not have been up for it. But we did it. I'm glad we did it. It was awesome. I, uh, I have to tell you, Rhonda, this is probably this is one of the top trips you've taken me on. This is because your attitude is, has improved over the time. <sighs> It has the, nothing to do with my The attitude. more your attitude improves, the greater the excitement will become. This is just, I mean, it's like you're in the jungle and you're seeing the jungle as the Mayans did. You it's know, really neat. For the next few days, we're going to be bringing you some more adventures from across the country. Um, for the next few days, we are in the southern part of the country. So we are, today we are here in Bocawina. Tomorrow we are going to, go, going to go to Belizean Dreams Resort. And then we are going to be headed to... Uh, Naya Resort. Those are the three places that we have in mind for you for this week. Um, next week we don't know where the adventures is going to take you but we're going to take you on some adventures so that you can see the sights and songs of this country and experience some of the uh, adventures that otherwise you could possibly miss. So, yes. so far what is it that you've enjoyed the so, most? So, well, obviously, well, not so much the hike up but once you get up to the top, the swimming pool, the swimming pool was that was so refreshing. I mean, you're exhausted. You get up there, and the water's cool, and you can just sit in there and relax and take your time, have a little nourishment. Um, and apparently, that I mean, this waterfall starts at the top of the mountain, and apparently, there's uh, like four springs that feed it. So the springs come up out of the top of the mountain and run down the mountain, which I thought was pretty cool. It made me want to go a little farther and go see where these springs are. But whose not, legs would you that, borrow? Yeah, that. So, you know, the, the, when we started out, I thought, oh, this is easy because it was like a little dirt road. Well, then we turned off the dirt road. And that was then then that's when then the, the fun began? that's when the work started. Actually, that wasn't even too bad. It was just a nice trail through the jungle. A little bit of an incline. Excellent. Uh, during the course of the trails, we had um, we had two different guides with us. Um, Roberto. And Wilson. And Wilson. Roberto explained. Excellent guys. Excellent, excellent. Uh, so we say good morning to the people here at Bocawina, but we also say good morning to the guys that went along with us, Roberto and Wilson. Roberto stopped and explained some of the things uh, that we can experience or expect in the in the jungle, in the rainforest. And he, um, in this clip, you can see him explaining this fruit or stick or stalk or whatever it is you want to call it. Okay. So here we have some wild begonia. So um, what you can do with this is you can peel the skin. When you have a dry mouth, you're hiking. This will help you a lot. It can make, it can hydrate you also. So you can peel it the skin, and you can take a, a bite. If it's a little sour. It's good. Mm. You need all of it. So the combination of celery and rhubarb. Exactly. Yes, that was kind of a, it tasted like a cross between rhubarb and celery. Okay. It's a little sour, go. but it was... I could eat that. You a know, lot of liquid in it. Normally when you are in the jungle and they give you something to eat, it's normally not so tasty. That one I could have done with. Well, I can see where it'd be, it'd be good in a salad. Just yes. little bits of it here and there. Well, don't go out in your jungle or in your yard and think you can do this, all right? You need, you need a professional to help you choose it. Yeah, but there's probably some poisonous ones out there, too. Or something. You know, that one little shell thing, it, it almost smelled like insect repellent. And he said, yeah, you can use it for that. They used to use it for that. Absolutely amazing. So those are just some of the things that we've done over the past few hours right here at Bocawina. So, you know, after the swim, I was, and we got to the, the edge of the waterfall where we were going to repel. Yeah. And um, I was the first to go over. And I'd never repelled before, really. Okay. And I was a little concerned for you. 
Me? So I thought, I I'm the younger, stronger, most that. energetic one. Are you yeah, concerned but, for me? Yeah, but you're not real athletic and, and your coordination is, is a little behind the curve. You know, but, I never used to think that my coordination is behind the curb, and then I realized I can't dance. But you know, the <laughs> that's when I was sure that my coordination has to be behind but the curb. But you know, when I'm looking up and I see you come down there, you had like perfect position. You had your feet spread, and I can and retain what he said to do. You're holding on to the rope and just coming down like a professional. That's because he gave instructions and he was very clear with and his instructions. And you listened? May have no choice. I didn't think you listened to instructions very well. Look, when your life depends I on it, give you. not the instructions you give me, when your life depends on it, or you feel like your life depends on it, and it's only you on the rope, you have to listen to the yeah. instructions. True. All right? And then whenever I'm going the wrong way, he nudged me, I feel the rope pushing against me. That's like... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you almost did what I did. I was coming down and, and I wasn't, it's hard to like turn around and look and see where you're going. Looking down, it could be the worst thing you can do because exactly. it's so far, you get and more And then you nervous. look up and the water's hitting you in the face, but, but I got down all of a sudden I stopped. I was sitting on a rock. <laughs> that rock, I tell you, that rock. <laughs> it's important to listen to your guide when you're on these trails. I'll tell you what though, we're going to tell you a little bit more about the excitement that we've experienced right, right here at Bocawina, but we definitely have to jump into some matters. Are we, don't we? Sure. All right. Oh, but before we jump into the matters, I need to say good morning to, I can't remember her first name, the Zabinin lady that says she wants to see us outside. We're outside now, okay? So thank you for pushing us outside of the we studio. We are way outside. We're close to your <laughs> town. All right. So good morning to the people that send in their, their requests and observations and, and contributions. That is what will make us uh, produce the show that you will continue to enjoy. So we thank you. Never feel shy or afraid or anything to send in your thoughts. Absolutely. You know, because we're open to positive criticism. And if you have any suggestions where we should go, what should where where we should shoot shows, feel free to yeah, send, send us, us, us to some place. Give us an idea of where you want to see us next. If you're a resort owner or a restaurant owner or a business owner that would like for us to come to your place because you have something special, send us a note and let's see what we can do. Now it's time to jump into some matters. Any matters today from you? Uh, no, I will make a note here. I, uh, I was invited to go to Iceland with my son. You keep saying that. Did you I know gone that? yet? Only about well, 30 times? I'm, I'm leaving this week. But uh -huh. I see Iceland in the World Cup. They tied Argentina. Wow. I'm, I'm, I don't think it'll still be going on when we get to, our, get to Iceland. But uh, that, that country's got to be pretty excited. That's like Belize being in the World Cup and tying Argentina. Oh, man, that is pretty cool. So that'll be fun. That and is... if you're nice, I might send some clips back for you to see. I have internet. Don't kill yourself <laughs> out, okay? I have internet. I have Google. And it's not the same. You know, it's true. It's probably going to be better on the internet, isn't it? <laughs> I'm just pulling your leg. Take a camera, take some good pictures and share them with us. I will. Let's jump into the first matter. This one says, good morning. I am viewing this for the first time. Very impressed with your program. Some of the things you said hit home for me. Based on the time the program is being aired, I don't know if I will see your response live. I come out of a horrible relationship which lasted for eight years, Ooh. which became abusive to the point where I was held at gunpoint. I left after I found out that he had several other women in, rela in the relationship. Plus, children were born unknowing to me. Wow. It's almost two years now. Although I want to find, although I want to, I find it difficult to move on or trust anyone. What advice would you give me? Wow. This is from Grenada, I think. Well, you know, forget the, uh, <clears throat> forget the other women and the other kids. Just having a gun in my face, I think, would end the relationship for me. But that probably came afterwards. Um. Time. Don't get involved for a while. Stay on your own. Get to know yourself. And give it time. Don't be anxious to jump into another relationship. I understand your hesitation and reservation. Um, one of the things that you have to realize that there are two things. That this guy that you dated... He's just one individual in this massive place called the world. You made one bad choice. You know, you're not, I wouldn't even say that you made a bad choice because I'll tell you, sometimes people 
present something to you in the beginning that is really not them. And because you, you, you trust them, you believe them, and then when the real them starts showing up, that is what you don't trust because the first person that they presented was such an amazing person that you can't see how they can transition to this awful person. So, I Well, and sometimes you blame yourself. What did I do to make this person change? You didn't do anything. He was or she was always like that, but they just didn't show themselves just yet. Everybody has some level of acting inside of them, right? And sometimes the acting comes in the beginning, sometimes it comes in the end, sometimes it's in the middle, sometimes it's severe. But a lot of people know how to put their best foot forward. You know, it is like when you're, if, you have, if you're a parent and you have a child that's rude, you will say, look, when you go out there, behave yourself, conduct yourself accordingly. And he or she can conduct themselves. But when they come back home, they're rude again. True. Because that's just... They don't the, show that side to everybody. Exactly. Only to somebody in their space. Exactly, and that is how some abusive people are. So when they first meet you, you are a stranger to them. So they show you the sweet side of them because everybody's got a sweet side. And once you get to know them more and more and more, they become more and more comfortable. So first of all, don't kill yourself about the situation that you have found yourself in. However, in the next time when you go out, you have to be more careful. You have to give more time before you get into a committed relationship. Far too often when the light turn on and we see their face and they talk a few lines, you think, I like him. No. Give him enough time to, to go out with him, to see him amongst his friends, to get in a first disagreement with him before you get into a relationship with this guy. Because once all of those things have taken place, then you have a better idea of who he is. Take him around your friends so that your friends can say, I noticed this. Or he's just amazing because he might just be amazing. Right. They may see things you don't. So take your time and don't rush it. But I say for you to get into another relationship, you have to start acting. And I'm not, I, don't mean, I don't mean pretending. I mean moving on it if that is what you want. But you have to move in a different way. Because if you move in the same way that you have moved before, you will end up in a similar place. I have to tell my Daniel Boone story here. Uh-oh. Do you know who Daniel Boone was? Yes. Okay. What is your Daniel Boone story though? Well... The story goes when he was courting his wife, Rebecca. Oh, yes. He, um, he wanted to test her, see what her disposition was. So she had a brand new dress out somewhere, and he just walked up and ripped it right in front of her just to see what her reaction was. You know, that's a little just, excessive. Just a little test. That's a, that's a, unless he had the money to buy back the same, same dress, that's a test. I would think he did, but it's still... It's it has to be the same dress. Well... The same dress. I mean, I, I don't know if that's a wife's tale or if it's true, but I thought, you know, there's... Not that you have to go to that extreme, but some things, you know, you want to see... What I've learned is you only see the true person in times of crisis or, or stress. You know, anybody can be nice when things are good, but it's when things are bad that the real personality comes out. And you have to understand that when the real personality come out, whatever it is, some things you can manage because you understand that when people are upset, they behave different than when they're pleased, mm -hmm. but within reason. On that note, we're going to take a break and be back. Hola, hola, hola. Can I get a seven up or Pepsi Cola? Hey, Miss Lara, if you want to treat me, please don't give me no soft drink. We're ordinary. Please give me a Pepsi Cola, Pepsi Cola, Pepsi Cola. Pepsi-Cola! Pepsi-Cola! I got a hankering for something sweet I'm kind of restless and I can't ignore the beat Gotta skip my step, gotta tap my feet I got a craving, you're exactly what I need
pizza grande o pequeña Dale un Rambo Can Rambo Can Si es delgado o robusto Pelo largo, pelo corto Dale un Rambo Can Rambo Can Rambo Can en su presentación Para adultos o cachorros Dale Rambo Can Para que tu perro tenga piel sana y pelo brillante Huesos y dientes fuertes, músculos resistentes Y mejor digestión Dale lo mejor Dale Rambo Can Salud y vigor para tu perro have an idea for the building of a structure and not sure exactly what you want or how to go about achieving it? Then worry no more. Let the pros at Remen Associates get it done for you. At Remen Associates, we have trained professionals that can assist you in the designing, engineering, and construction of the building of your choice. At Remen Associates, we bring your ideas to life. Call Roman Associates at 615-6200 or visit them at Three Quarter Miles on the Iguana Creek Road in the Spanish Lookout. Hoy Eye Center has the latest visual examination equipment and a fully prepared operating theater capable of handling any eye surgery, whether scheduled or emergency. Today, the center has a full complement of competent staff and continues to build its client base and reputation by providing personal and quality service. We provide you with scratch-resistant plastic lenses, transition lenses, single vision, bifocals, progressive invisible multifocals, avio contact lenses, and sunglasses. We have a variety of brand name glasses. Hoy Eye Center is offering a special deal on a complete pair of glasses for only $150. We are located in Belize City at the corner of St. Joseph and St. Thomas Street. We are open Monday to Fridays from 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. and on Saturdays from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. Phone number 223-0994 or 223-0994. 5741 Hoy Eye Center, a proud sponsor of Guadalupe Media. At West Track Belize City, we are looking to help you save both your time and money. We've also improved our stock levels to ensure we have everything you might need for your automotive or agricultural needs. Additionally, Westrack has added heavy-duty and industrial parts to keep your trucks and equipment running. At Westrack Belize City, we understand that your time is important, so we want to bring our services to you at your convenience. Now you can simply send us a message on WhatsApp or Facebook and we will be right there to help with any questions you may have. Hello and welcome to a &R. With the wide variety of household items, party supplies and gift ideas to choose from, a r is definitely the shopping spot of choice for you. We have loads of kitchen appliances such as freezers, washers, refrigerators, pots, pans, and other items including stationery, school bags, swimming pools, sturdy plastic chairs, and toys for boys and girls. Check out a r at any of our many locations in San Pedro, Orange Walk, Cayo, and Belize City. At a r we strive to provide all your shopping needs under one roof. Good morning, welcome back to Morning Matters. We are here in the thick of southern Belize at Bocawina Adventures, Adventures and Resort. A rainforest and resort and adventures. You know, this is this is truly a, a, a treat for me. I've I've had a wonderful time and there's a whole lot more to explore. I'd like to go do that seven mile trail and see all the five waterfalls. And whose body would you go in? Well, I'd have to <laughs> see what the layout is, see how much of it is uphill and, and Even all if that. it's a flat surface, whose oh, body would you use? flat surface. I'll take my tent. I'll camp all night. Oh, you plan to do this in days? It might take days. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But it's a really, really nice resort. They got a great restaurant. The 
the fish last night was awesome, and I just happened to order the blackened fish. And then you asked the waitress what she recommended, and she said she really liked the blackened fish. So. It was amazing. And it was really, really good. Excellent. I'm glad that you were happy with your meal. I was happy with my meal too, um, but I was jealous at how yours looked. <laughs> it, was, you know? it was delicious. Everything here, we need to, um, we need to commend the chef. Let me see if I can find the chef's name because, you know, I can't yeah. remember everything. I made a note of it because I didn't. Fernando. I was going to say Fernando. Were you though? Yes. So we have to say uh, kudos to the chef here at Bocawina, Fernando. Um, good morning to you. Yes. And thank you for keeping people's belly not only happy, but All really, the food really I saw looked delightful. Breakfast was good. Dinner was good. Lunch on the way was good. Everything's been good so far. And then we went, um, oh, our rooms. The rooms were nice. The rooms were Very really, nice. really nice. They're simple. Um, but cool. They're deluxe clean. cabins. Yeah. They're, they're deluxe just, cabins. They're nice. So when you come here, you definitely will have a good time. Zip lining was second to none. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I've been zip lining several times, but this is by far the best one. It has nice long runs. One of them's like a half mile long. And they said you get up to 40 miles an hour going down through there. Yep, they have nine runs here. I think it's the longest um, that I know of. If you have a longer zipline run, let me know. But I, right now, I'd say this is the longest zipline run. Um, so with nine runs, it's long. It was, yeah. But you know what? After that hike up to the waterfall nice. and back, I'm thinking, okay, zipline will be relaxing. There's still a little hike with the ziplining. <laughs> we were up and down hills. And, That's right. Well, it's mostly uphill. Ziplining coming down. But and then they have um, just just the, the the walk, the the journey to get there. I mean that bridge that um, I don't oh, know how that long swing that, bridge. Bridge, that swing bridge that is a, uh, it's that was really. I nice. don't know how long that it is, cool. but it must be at least two hundred feet long. Um, that was cool. And it's just hanging over the over the. It's a little stream the, underneath. A yeah. Little, little valley in there. It's nice, you know. Those are things that you don't do on your regular day they're not um regular days activities so when you come out here and you experience them they're absolutely amazing there's one thing that i did not find any pleasure in drew absolutely loved his <laughs> he loved getting on that thing and <laughs> that that jumping free down. fall thing? that free fall oh thing. my gosh i was shaking so bad Rhonda, and i had flashbacks when i was i was 25 30 years ago probably 25. i bungee jumped once and it was probably three times as high as this, but there was an airbag under it. And from the bottom, it looked like, oh, I can do this. But you get up there. I mean, he almost had to push me off of that. And I never had a desire to do it again. And I had flashbacks when I was doing this. I mean, I was trembling. I can tell by the video that you tried to shoot of me jumping. <laughs> you know, the whole video was shaking, shaking. I'm like, who is that guy down there trying to shoot? You know, you're so shaking, but I didn't do it. Um, it was, oh, I wasn't you just talk not about adrenaline enough. for me. Yeah, good for you. Shaking. Congratulations. Why didn't you do it? Um, because what when I held problem? when I held on to the to the rope, it was loose. Well, you know that's <laughs> what got me too. They say hold it tight up. This one. no, I want to pull it down and it's hold loose. it this and way. And I'm thinking, this thing will just I'll just fall on the ground like <laughs> a dead what, log. It, it as much as I've it. seen other people drop, did it and it didn't do that. Oh, I thought I if I hold on to this thing, it'll fall to the ground. <laughs> once, once you feel it catch and. and slow you down it, 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 it's relaxing but just wondering if it's going to catch is a yeah. little nerve-wracking so yeah i have a heart and then they say but you jumped out of a plane i said no they had to push me out the plane okay, okay. and the space in between the plane and the ground well, plus you were attached to somebody else you hadn't you just kind of let go and let them throw you out yeah and not only that the place the space between the plane and the ground is so vast that didn't you have, feel like you were falling it, it did but it, there's so many other things that can happen in between then. It wouldn't be one quick zoop. Anyway, moving right along. So you know what, what worries me about that sometimes? You jump out of an airplane, I'm thinking the tail's gonna come and hit you. You'll be, you'll be laying across the tail like this. No, because you start falling quick, okay? <laughs> you start falling immediately. I would do that again. That jump there, I don't know. We could probably get them to harness you up and you could jump.
I live with this guy for 10 years, have three children for him, two boys and a girl. He was cheating on me for three years. Now I got tired of it and decided to move on with my life. So I found someone now who treats me more better and loving than him. He even take care of the children since I moved out. Now I meet him last week and he tell me he need to start taking care of his children and told me that he won't take care of them because I am not with him and I should let the man I have no, now take care of them. Do you think I should care for him to family? Do you think I should carry, I think is what she wants to say, him to family court? You know, sometimes peace of mind and peace of mind for the family is you can't put a price on that and if you take him to court and he brings a lot of stress into the family you know some things aren't worth it so you got to kind of weigh that yes he should live up to his responsibilities he should at least financially take care of his kids I mean does he visit the kids does he get time with the kids a man that says that he will not take care of his children because another man is in your life and you are not with me that's not a man that cares about his kids no so you know he's not spending time right Right? So you know he's not doing anything. If you should take him to family court, I would say, when this is one thing I have to say to the ladies. When you take a man to family court, it is not out of spite, you know. It's not because you can't right. stand the, mind, the right. man. It's Don't not because it you spite. hate him. It's not because you want to hurt him. If you're struggling and having trouble taking care of the kids and paying their bills, no. then You take yes. a man to family court because he is unwilling to voluntarily live up to his commitment. Mm. And like any other thing he, thing, he needs to live up to his commitment. So taking him to court is not a punishment for him, but it is a... It is a duty to your children because a father needs to provide for his children. And if, even if today you don't feel that you will need that money, your children need to go to college, suppose the man that you are with dies or leaves or something happens, then you will be further back. Family court is not to spite men. Family court is for men that refuse to live up to their responsibility. So if he doesn't want to go to family court, then he will come to you and say, look, Sally Ann or Mary Jane or whatever, I will pay my dues for these children. Give me a bank account where I can put this money. Talk done. Other than that, yes, you have to take him to family court. Why? The children need the money. They need to go to school. They need clothes on their back. They need food in their belly. That's what I say. But if that's already being taken care of, why bring that stress to him in there? You know he doesn't want to be there. And, and he's going to pay for like two months and then he's going to quit. And then you got to take him back into court again. You don't want that stress. You don't have to take him back into court. And send the police after him? You don't have to do any. You see, your work as, as, as the complainant is to just prove your point. Tom Jones Who enforces is, it? You would have to say Tom Jones has not paid his due. But maybe he will. And maybe he may feels be. that you... That's for her to weigh the pros him. and cons. But if it's just going to bring a bunch of stress into a What's situation... Stress? Stress, stress is when you can't feed your picnic. No, well, she didn't say she was struggling. She right? says no, she her isn't. Man, but she has a man that she's not married to that is not the biological father for these children. She can't lean right. on him like that. She can't give well, and that's another true. man's responsibility to a man that well, she's sleeping with. No. I agree there. If the man but is he may look at it as, I love this woman and I, want, I, want yes. him, I don't want him in the picture and he doesn't need to be here. He doesn't want to be here. Keep our peace within the family. And that is good. But at the end of the day, this man is... Still has an see, obligation to his children. That's something you need to discuss children. with the man in your life now. I mean, everybody knows it's his responsibility financially, but as the woman with her kids in there in her household, that's going to bring stress. To who? To the family. Why? Because then he's going to demand this. He's going to think since he's paying, he's going to do this and he's going to do that. He needs to see his children, yes. He does. He should. But that should be the reason that he's doing it, not because the court's forcing him. And maybe, I, you know him better than us for sure, but maybe once he's paying, maybe he'll start thinking, well, I want to spend time with my kids. A lot of people don't visit their children out of shame because they're not doing anything for them and they feel like, you know what, I'm not doing anything, might as well stay away anyway. Once you start living up to your responsibility, he needs to be taught how to be a man. And you have to hold his hand to the fire, in my opinion, but that's just my opinion. Though. It's not up to her to teach him to be a man. If he hasn't learned by now, he's not going to. You'd be surprised. And she shouldn't have to worry about teaching him. We agree she's to disagree. Whole, she's got a whole relationship to worry about. She I live with my woman and two children, but a young girl says that she loved me long time. What for do? Tell your lady. 
Honey bun? Yeah, ask your lady what to do. Ask your lady what to do. And she won't so give you. So what if somebody says they love you? What did you do to make her love you? Are you cheating on the other girl? People just don't walk up to you and say, well, I shouldn't say that because I walk on the street and there's this boy that he just harassed the, the living daylight so to me. So people say crazy things. When I see him, I want to cross the street. Don't pay attention to the noise in the street. I try not to, but when they walk on the road and they touch you, you're like, stop touching me. Security? Call the harassment police. They're standing right there, they laugh. Good morning. I am living with someone who always expects me to make supper despite I just come from work. He always gets angry when I tell him that I am tired and that he can also take his turn to make supper. What am I to do? Me, I drink my water and tea every day. You know, that's, uh, those are things that have to be worked out. But, you know, he shouldn't. There's some men here that I know, they, they expect to be fed. That's why they got married. Somebody to cook for them and have a meal in front of them. But maybe he doesn't know how to cook. He can't take care of himself. Well, if you can't cook, you should be able to read. And if you could read, you could read recipe. And if you grew up as a Caribbean or Creole or Belizean man, you know how to boil water, you know how to boil egg, you know how to put bread and butter together. And if that's all you could cook, my body, that's all you want to eat sometime. Or better yet, grab him by the hand and say, come honey, let's fix dinner together. And let him watch and see how to cook. Most Caribbean men can cook, you know. He's lazy, some of them lazy. Because you think that's the reason they don't cook? A lot of, no. Well, I have to say that a lot of men cook, and they cook very well. But Better for than the, the women sometimes. They cook very well, yes. But for the men that, it is all cultural, right? It is their custom, some of their custom, that this is how they saw their father being taken care of and their grandfathers being taken care of and they want that but it is okay to want that but you have to have a willing participant meaning that you have to have a wife that is willing to do that all the time but I also think if you are a loving person man or woman and you see that your wife is working eight hours a day and you are working eight hours a day why you think she must come home and work her extra eight or you cook he cleans or something he cleans the dishes or something yeah you know you can't as a, as a responsible human being, you can't expect one person to be carrying all the weight all the time. Tell him if he made more money, you wouldn't have to work and you could stay home and do all those things. Well, yes and no, again, because some women just loves to be out and have their own level of independence. Well, and that doesn't come without a cost. And she's making her family suffer so she can be out in the public. I would say, look, we need to make a schedule here, babe. Once, maybe once a week or twice a week or whatever the thing is, we're going to eat on the road if you don't want to help in this house. We can stop and get some food at the park and carry it home. Okay? Or something. I mean, I live practically alone. And I can't imagine coming home every day and cooking for me. And that's all who I have to cook for, me. Let alone three other people. Yes. And if I come home and I just want to drink tea today, then it's just tea I'm going to drink yeah, today. Sometimes I, I'm not hungry enough to make the effort to cook. Sometimes you're just tired. <laughs> so I would say speak to him and have him understand that this is not slavery. And yes, you are his wife, you're not his slave. Make it a bonding moment. Do it together. Exactly. Both everybody wants to tie a touch. Good morning. I love my boyfriend. I am 20 years old and he's 43. Some people think that he's too old for me. But I love him and he shows me only love... And it shows me that he only loves me. We're together for six months. He met me when I was very slim. And now I got a little fat. In six months? But he tells me that I'm still beautiful every day. I mean, just a read as it comes. Six months you got fat? You were only judgmental. How long do you think it must take before somebody gets fat? He must have made life really good for her. Look, you're 20, he 43, he's 23 years older than you. Sitting here, having a 20-year-old daughter, I can understand some of the concerns that your parents or family or friends would have. Because that is somebody that is my age. You know, for somebody that is my age, dating somebody that is my daughter's age, that would throw me off, for lack of a better term. Um, ultimately, the decision is yours. As complicated as that is, the decision is yours. But I'll tell you one thing. While the decision is yours, you want to consider the positive criticism that may come into your life. Keep that in mind. All right? And 
a lot of people ha I'm not saying that you are not that he doesn't love you I'm not saying that he doesn't care about you I'm saying that based on the time frame you don't have enough history either everything that is new is nice yeah six months is really early everything that is new is nice you are 20 years old you young and fresh and hot he is on the way she's out she's fat now she's not fat she's fat her <laughs> I am fatter than I was when I was 41 and I was 40 and I was 39 I was fatter than thinner what are you going to be at 45 amazing like this <laughs> Right? But people's body change. Different things that you do to your body causes it to change. Different things that you put into your body causes it to change. Different exercises. Or no exercise. Different lifestyle. So I am not here to discriminate against your weight gain. You are aware that it happened. What I'm saying is that don't take this 43-year-old man as all in this time. I don't know why she said that unless he commented on it. Yes. She says that because she's uncomfortable with it and she's saying that he's still in love with her. Even though she gained weight. Even though she gained weight. It's only six months. Keep that in mind. Yeah. I have this girl. We're going out for 12 years now. With two lovely baby. We have a one year breakup. And we get back together. And now and then. We still have. To chill I guess. I fail to realize. That when someone break up. That person don't come back the same as they left. She loved smoking marijuana before and after pregnancy and also loved being with friends. And I am not attracted to someone who smokes. What for do? You know, there's a lot of options out there. Some, some vices are deal breakers. Some you learn to tolerate it and just accept this is the way this person is. Some things are deal breakers. You say, no, I can't live with it. So... But why you'd be with somebody with 10 years and kids and not married, I don't know. Because sometimes people count their 12 years different than other people. Just let's say that. So I would say I am with Tom Jones for... They have how many kids? They have two children. And they broke up for a year. So most of the time when people break up, they've been breaking up a year before they actually broke up. So you have to discount that. Right? They just wake up today and break well, that's up. still several years. Several years and two kids, you should be married. Well, maybe not. Maybe they stayed in a place where they should not have been for far too long. Right? So, if you So, are, why you get back together? Because people are, they, they also live, there's so many dynamics that make up the human being. And sometimes people are so hopeful that they hold on to that one, what they say, a dying man will clutch onto a, 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 a straw. That is what happens sometimes in your relationship. Your relationship is almost dead, but you will remember that one good thing he did or she did. You will remember and you'll miss that. You know, and you and you But you got you gotta bring yourself back into reality. And, and you look say look at the totality of the relationship. And then you say we have two children the same things you say, we have two children together. She is the mother of my two children. I, I want to be with her. Let me try one right, more time. But before you get into it, you gotta those things that, that caused you to leave, you gotta get those resolved. First. I agree with you. But first, sometimes before you get back. I agree, but sometimes as human beings, the man might say, you know what? No man, make I give this girl a next chance because she have 30 good points. She not worry about the 70 good points. The points were not good. He need based on the 30 well. good points. I say, before you make any permanent decision to stay with her, to get back with her, have, you might need counseling. You, because now, there are more negative things that have come into the relationship than you had before you left the relationship. You know, she never used to smoke weed. Now she smoke weed. She never used to do certain things. Now she do them. Because with, with smoking come a whole different behavior it's not just the act of only smoking weed the mindset is different a lot of things change when you start picking up certain behavior and um if somebody smokes weed maybe maybe why you are complaining about her weed smoking is not because she smokes weed once a week for two puffs she might proper smoke weed every evening she wants to sit down for an hour and smoke weed well i mean to me that's not nearly as bad as somebody that smokes cigarettes and like every 20 minutes they got to run out and smoke a cigarette. I understand. That would drive me nuts. But you are but not. But a, a joint in the evening. But, but see that is you can tolerate that. This man can't. And you don't have Unless nothing. Unless she acts different and stupid and, and you can't stand her after she smokes. And 
Maybe he doesn't like Then her. she needs to go somewhere else and come back when she's sober. Maybe he just doesn't like the concept of it altogether. And that could be. You know, and he has that right. So I say, if you want your relationship and she wants the relationship, you need professional help. This is not something that both of you can reason and work out on your own. You need to go and find a professional. I'm thinking so. Well, I'll tell you what, Drew. Um, before we go, though, I want to say that... Oh, we have to leave this fun place? We do, but I want to say that in life, we all have our challenges. Everybody's got a challenge. Every relationship has got a challenge. Um, it is how we address these challenges that will determine whether we make it or we don't make it. And making it sometimes does not necessarily mean staying in the same place with the same person. Sometimes making it means that you have to be on your own. But whatever it is that making it means to you, you will need time to, to work through it. And you need to have the right approach. And sometimes we are incapable of reaching that point on our own. So we need to be wise enough to know when we need help. And if it is help you need, then find help. Do not let your foolish pride um, affect your future. Because your future is more important than this little pride that sometimes you have on your shoulder. It's been a fun, fun day right here at Boca Wina. Definitely, we encourage people to come on out and explore your country. Whichever country you're living in, make sure that you know it and you know it well. Make sure you explore it. For the ones here in Belize with us, get out, explore, live. Don't just be alive in your country or in your home or in your wherever you are. Start living. And for you to live, you need to explore. One Absolutely. of the places that you can explore is Boca Wina. And it's fantastic. Absolutely. Thank you for bringing me. I tell you, as your behavior improves, so does the adventures. <laughs> Guys, until next time, we encourage you to take care of yourselves and each other. This is Ronda along with Drew. Saying goodbye. Bye-bye. At West Track Belize City, we are looking to help you save both your time and money. We've also improved our stock levels to ensure we have everything you might need for your automotive or agricultural needs. Additionally, West Track has added heavy-duty and industrial parts to keep your trucks and equipment running. At West Track Belize City, we understand that your time is important, so we want to bring our services to you at your convenience. Now you can simply send us a message on WhatsApp or Facebook and we will be right there to help with any questions you may have.